In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to hide an icon. That way people can't find it. So if it's something you're trying to hide or you just don't want people to see, this is a good way to do it. It's a quick tip and it is very easy to do and easy to reverse as well if you change your mind later. You do need to make sure you have iOS 14. If you don't have that, I'll put a link up to the top. Welcome everybody, it's Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We'd love for you to join. With that all said, let's go ahead and jump right in and show you exactly what's going on. So with this, I have my apps here. I have the new iOS 14. We're gonna go ahead and select an icon to hide. So for example, we will do uh, Shop Titans game I play. We'll go ahead and click and hold on it and it'll give you an option to remove app. We'll go ahead and choose remove app. And here it's gonna say here, delete app to app library. So what I can do is I can move it to the app library, which that'll do is kind of like a Windows computer, how you have a program, but you don't have an icon on the desktop. That's basically the same thing you're kind of doing here. So we can either completely delete it, which I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to lose all my progress, or we could move it to the app library. So let's go ahead and move it to the app library. And now the icon is gone. So now no one will be able to find it as they scroll through all my icons. So next we want to go to the app library and you can do that by scrolling all the way over to the right. After you're out of pages, it'll go ahead and open up the library. So my final page, I move one more time and then we have the app library. So now you'll be able to see under games, it's still located there so we can select it. You can also search for it. So if I go up into app library and I type Titan, it'll go through and bring up the game Shop Titans and then I can play it there. I can click and hold and it will go through and give you an option to add to home screen. If you add it to home screen, it's gonna put it back to how it was. So we'll go and choose add home screen and now I have it back on my page. So now what I could do is I can drag it back to where it is and it's like nothing ever happened. But if people aren't aware of the app library, they're not gonna be able to find your apps that you're hiding. So feel free to give it a try and if you have any apps you wanna hide or for example, like I give stuff to my son at times, I can go ahead and hide the app so he's not clicking on them by mistake all the time. It's a really nice feature in iOS 14 and I will go over even more of those to get you all caught up with what's changed, but I thought it was a neat one to start with. I hope you enjoyed it. There are some other videos for you to check out and thank you so much for the view.